All right, now that the box is built, one thing I've never really showed anybody is how do I verify what my tuning actually was? Well, this thing's supposed to be tuned to 34 hertz. That's the way it was looking when it was first designed. But if I want to know if I was right, this is the best way to do it right here. But this thing does a million and one things. If you were to turn to the book, this is what you'd see. One of the pages. at the very bottom our first peak is going to be at around 28.7 so we're going to go 28.7 and 3.5 ohms a little dot right there Our next dip is going to be right around 34 hertz, and that's going to be 1.2 ohms. So right here, just below 35, and right about here. And then of course it shoots up like a rocket to 58.8 at 6. Point six ohms so 58 so now you can take all the numbers in between and get a really accurate graph but just to let you know ooh, squiggly line it's the bench I swear so there you go this right here is your number you really don't need to draw all this and do a dot unless you really want to have a graph but looks like 34 Hertz is our number that's what it's tuned to I'm pretty sure that's the most squiggliest, unstraight line I've ever drawn. Oh well, you get the point. Damn, terrible. You really don't need all this anyways. This is what you're looking for. This bottom dip, your first peak, your first dip is your number. So 34 hertz is pretty much what this thing was showing and then it goes through the roof after that. So this box is tuned to 34 hertz. Exactly what I thought it would be.